Hello friends, I'm Larry Mark and in this video we are going to create a WhatsApp spam bot. So remember to subscribe to my channel for more educative tutorials like this. So let's get started with the coding. So first of all you need to open your code editor. I'm going to use PyCharm since I'm writing a Python program. So after opening you need to create a file two files so the first file is going to be a file we also need a second file you will also need a second file which is going to contain the messages that you are going to spam your target with so for that you need to create a second file which is going to be a text file and I'm going to name it as word so it's going to be a text file, select text and click OK. So after creating the two files, you need to install a library which is PyAutoGUI. So head to the terminal and pip install PyAutoGUI. I've given the code in the screen, pip install PyAutoGUI. So for me, I had already installed it, so it's not going to install again. It's going to tell me the requirement is satisfied. So give it time to install. So and also please remember to watch my previous video on how to automate WhatsApp. It's up here on the corner. Click on the eye and it will take you straight to the video on how to automate WhatsApp. So after installing by AutoGUI, the next thing you need to go ahead to your WhatsApp spam.py and import by AutoGUI. So you need to import the Py Auto GUI and you will also need to import time since we need to set the spams to deliver themselves at some equal interval. So for that we need to import time too. And remember to subscribe to my channel and also like the video. So now we have imported Py Auto GUI and time. We need to look for the messages that we are going to spam our target with. So for that, you need to head to your browser. You will either choose song lyrics or a movie script. So for me, I decided to go with a song lyrics since I thought it will be a little bit easier. So you may either choose between a movie script, whichever you may prefer to use. It's your wish which may impress you. So for me, I decided to go with a song lyrics. So just head over to your Decide message of the movie script. Look for it. So for me, I'm going to choose the song by Nicki Minaj. I'm going to search it, the song. So after finding your target, the message that you like to use in your spam bot, you, the, the next thing you need to do, you need to copy the message. You need to copy all of the message and paste it in your the file that you created, the circle one, which was the text file. So you need to copy it and paste it in your word. So for me, mine, I call it word, so I'm going to paste the message in word. And after pasting it, you need to head back to the WhatsApp spam.py. And now we get to the funnier part, the most fun part, which is going to write the code that is going to auto send the messages. So for that, we will need to enable the Py, the Py Auto GUI to read the word, the text in our word file. So for that, we will need to use the command which is R. To open the file so for that we need to write this code word is equals to open so what do we need to open we need to open the word file and after opening it what do we need it to do we need the file auto GUI to read the text in it so for that we need to put the R which is going to read the messages in that so after writing that the next thing we need to write a for loop which is going to alter, alter illiterate between the lines of the file of the file in it so it's going to send a given line after a given line so for that we need to write a phone so for word in word which is our file 
what do we need it to do? We need to let PyAutoGUI read line by line and send it to our target. So for that we need to write this one too. So for word in word, for words in word, we need PyAutoGUI to type, to type write the word line by line, word after word, sending it to our target. So after typing it to our target, so the next thing we need to let AutoGUI do, we need to let AutoGUI automatically press the enter key so that the message will be set. So for that you are going to write PyAutoGUI dot press the enter key so that it can automatically send the message. Now we are almost done with our code. Now the next thing we have remained to is just to give it some few minutes to enable us to scan the QR code on our WhatsApp web. So we are going to give it a 10 seconds that will enable us to scan the QR code. And here we need to give it a pausing time of at least 5 or 10 seconds so that the messages may not look, so that the message may send a few times. So after putting the time dot slip to enable us to scan the QR code and the space between the messages now, we need to head to our WhatsApp web and launch our WhatsApp. After scanning the QR code, we need to head back to our program and run it. So we have opened our WhatsApp web. Now the next thing we do is to run the program. So for that, we need to write the name of the file and press enter. Now the thing, now we have to wait for the magical time where the messages is going to automatically send themselves to the target. So, let's begin. The agents, it's going to send another one after 5 seconds. Another one after five seconds. Another one. Another one after five seconds. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. So guys, Another that's one. how you, that's the code that is used to write a spam bot that you can use to get back to your friends who maybe do not help you. So guys, that's the code. Thank you for watching the video and please remember to subscribe and like the video and also remember to watch my previous video on WhatsApp automation. The link is on the description. The link to the source code of the program is on the description. So if you're interested with the, to get the source code, so click on the link of the description. It's going to take you to my GitHub repository and please follow me on my GitHub repository and my social media accounts too. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one. So I'm going to stop the programs.